The close angle drill is a fundamental tracking drill. The purpose of this drill is to demonstrate to the athlete the importance of closing space. This drill will teach players to effectively close space, track at an angle, and use proper footwork into the point of contact. Let's take a look. For the setup, mark out a practice space that's 10 yards by 10 yards. Arrange a cone to designate the starting point for the offense, and two more cones to designate the finish. Then set up two cones to designate the starting point for the defense, and two cones that are two yards in front of the defense starting point. Defense must pass through the orange cones before tracking at an angle to intersect the offense. At the start of the drill, give the offense and the defense the instruction to go either left or right. Offense sets up to travel at a 45 degree angle in a straight line between the two cones. Defense must pass through the orange cones before the offense can start. He will then track at an angle to intersect the offense. Now that you've seen the setup, let's walk through the drill. To emphasize closing space, on go, the defense will jog forward. When he passes through the cones, the offense jogs towards the left or right on your direction. Defense changes his angle and continues to close space, tracking the near hip of the offensive player. Defense approaches the offense and gathers his feet. He finishes by making contact with the offense and pushing him off his line. Notice that effective contact requires a near foot power step, low body profile, and striking the near hip with two hands palms down. Here it is in slow motion from a different angle. And here it is again. Be sure to emphasize these coaching points. The defense must first and foremost close space. As the defense gets closer to the offense, he should track the near hip, chopping and gathering his feet for better timing into contact. This is maximized with a near foot and shoulder strike. The example shows a palm down strike into contact. Now that you've got the basics of the drill, in the next section we will go over common mistakes players make so you can identify them and correct your athletes. I'm Coach Kerry Carter. Here's a tip to help your players be more successful with the close angle drill. Move the defensive cones in closer to help them develop the correct angle towards the offensive player. In the next section, you'll take a short quiz to test your knowledge on the close angle drill. Good luck.